How are you, Matt? Hi, Gordon. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. You know, I was just wondering, accounting for those last three checks that you deposited, the $6,900 um, in three checks, um, just because I don't know what they are for. I never, just best I never good. get a specific invoice, and um, you know, for what when you guys write checks to Cure Property Management, I never know exactly what they're for because I never get a itemized, detailed invoice from you guys saying, you know, what these charges are for. Um, the closest it comes is in the monthly statements that'll say maintenance and then X amount of dollars, but I don't ever know what that maintenance is. It or repairs or, you know, whichever category it falls under. Of the three. Of the three? Oh, she's not the three. Oh. It's past management billings. Oh, that's the breakdown of the checks in here? Yeah, the three checks. Oh, I think here. Here with the... Right there. Okay, those, those, right those there. last three. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Gordon. Thank you, Gordon. Okay. Oh, that's better. Oh, and as far as the checks. I guess we don't have checks that say Puri Apartment. She puts a chip in there and it reads off the account number. And that's how it goes. We don't. Really because the th checks appear on the computer online that say Puri Apartments on them. I'll have to get her to explain that too because I asked for okay. checks and she said. Yeah, because when I go when I go on Wells Fargo and I look up online, um, you know what checks have been written, um, shows a picture of the check. The it's and a it photograph. The it's a photograph of the check, and this is Curie Apartments. So you guys must have a checkbook somewhere. 